What's up, guys? We had a great event here in Northern Indiana at CMM's uh, event, a open house, with some training and whatnot. Now relaxing, and you know, when I relax, I just geek out and look at fence. And behind me is a gate I was staring at. And what's going on with this gate? I don't know who built it. it doesn't really matter who built it, but it's some great conversation we can have about the gate. It does have a tension and a compression brace in it, and oftentimes the conversation is which one should I use, which one might be better. The reality of it is if a compression brace is flexible, in other words, if you can push on the brace and it will bow, and the two points come closer together, the gate can sag. You don't have any type of uh, strength there with the brace. And if the brace uh, has a weak connection, you pull on it, and it comes loose from the connection on either end, and the brace is useless that, in that way as well. So in this case, you can clearly see both gates are sagging. Both gates have failed, okay? They're both coming down, which causes a massive difference in the gap between here and here. And I'm sure it wasn't that way originally. A couple of things to think about. This is a very flexible brace. It's a piece of vinyl. It's, you can do, you can almost fold it in half and it won't break. It's very flexible. So it's in compression, which means that just pushes on it. We're not getting much there, but they do have it secured multiple times. So we have very little flexing. However, these pickets, the pickets can bow with it. So as this thing flexes, the pickets will bow with it. I know it's attached to it, but it'll still bow. So it's not really getting as much uh, strength or advantage there. The other, the other thing I want to note is this one is in tension, and it is failing as well. And the main reason why this one's failing is it's pulling away. There's a large gap here. It's pulling away from the vertical. So the bracing is not from vertical to vertical. It's just on this inter inter internal panel, which has some benefit if we keep that panel from moving in here it kind of creates like a sheet of plywood prevents this from warping to a certain extent but we definitely have a gap where it's pulling away we definitely have failure because of that brace these braces should go from as high as possible to as low as possible in the full breadth of the gate with the um, trying to get on the verticals that would be more important to get on the verticals i do see in this case with this wide uh, vertical, you'd have a giant gap in here. I understand that, but it would be better if we were actually on the verticals, uh, which is where we're trying to prevent those two things from rotating or vertically moving, and that prevents the sagging. So, great example of a flexible brace is very common we see in our industry, and here it's in tension and compression, but both are failing, as you can tell. The gate doesn't look very good. It can be fixed. Uh, I'd probably fix this with a uh, metal brace, aluminum brace, that we can put in tension that we can connect. Uh, I'd probably go from here, down in there, here somewhere. Um, I would probably fix them both with tension braces uh, and that would solve a lot of problems. The other thing that I want to note here, I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole on this one, okay? So just recently we did the training. We have a lot of pushback from some veterans in our industry or just some people were taught by veterans. They're not even that seasoned in that, you know, the whole no dig, I drive, is an inferior way of setting posts and you got to set posts in concrete those same type of individuals are the ones that built fence like this i want to note that this post is set in concrete okay i'm not okay with this like in my mind the problem wasn't the fact that we used concrete or we didn't drive the problem is this post has no reinforcement in it. so we're hanging gates on posts that aren't meant to have gates hung on them uh, the concrete down below is doing no good. There's no reinforcement inside this post. And so this gate is moving terribly, which when we pull it closed, I'm sure it's pulling this way as well. So we can do better. That shouldn't be acceptable, right? Uh, yes, bracing is important, but you know what? A, a, a good set post is also important. And one, one sure way to get a good uh, predictable set post is to drive them in the ground because we know then if we drive that thing all the way down, we're maximizing the compression in the ground and more than likely we're a better chance to get full depth. Some guys may end up digging uh, shallow holes when we're not watching our team members. We get tired, hit something, cut off the post, and now we have an inferior set. So there's a tip. Have a great day.